As blood flows down the lumen of an artery, the sheer stress of the blood cell friction causes the inner layer of endothelial cells to release vasoactive mediators, most notably the vasodilator nitric oxide. However, in this animation we will be looking at the autonomic nerves in the outer region of the vascular wall. Here we see a segment of the vascular wall showing the inner layer of endothelial cells. As the endothelial cells fade, we see the internal elastic lamina with its fenestrae, which allow communication between intima and smooth muscle cells of the tunica media. On the outer adventitial layer we find the autonomic nerves, shown here in white. Small branches of nerves thread through holes in the external elastic lamina and populate the adventitia medial border. Single nerve fibres have swellings, known as varicosities, and these are the release sites which contain vesicle-filled neurotransmitters. The organisation of neurotransmitter vesicles is poorly understood. Although several schemes have been proposed, we will consider only the kiss and run mechanism. Other mechanisms are known as kiss and stay or endosomal recycling. Vesicles are spheres of lipid membrane which can be either empty or filled with neurotransmitters. In this scene, the red vesicles are full. Vesicles are thought to cycle. However, a static group can form a readily releasable pool which is thought to be the site of release. A V-snare protein called synaptorevin on the vesicle combines with T-snare protein, SNAP25 and syntaxin on the varicosity to cause docking of the vesicle at the release site. The initiation of transmitter release is caused by an increase in calcium within the varicosity. This calcium increase is caused by the depolarizing effect of an action potential as it passes through the varicosity. However, release from an individual varicosity has a probability and is not guaranteed. After docking, the vesicle and varicosity membranes fuse to allow exocytosis of the neurotransmitter, in this case noradrenaline. Noradrenaline has affinity for postjunctional alpha and beta adrenoceptors. When a sufficient number of receptors are occupied, smooth muscle cells will contract, leading to a decrease in vessel diameter an increase in total peripheral resistance and a rise in blood pressure. Neurotransmission can be modulated by prejunctional transporters and receptors. The uptake 1 mechanism removes junctional noradrenaline and this very efficient transporter is blocked by cocaine. Prejunctional alpha 2 adrenoceptors inhibit further release of noradrenaline. When the vesicles are depleted, the snares are released and the vesicle rejoins the cycling pool. In some cases, the vesicle enters the endosomal pool and will be degraded. In other cases, the vesicle will remain intact and will be refilled with neurotransmitters. A similar mechanism exists for the parasympathetic nerves.